If you're looking around YouTube to figure out how to get better slow motion out of your GoPro, this is the video you want to watch. What's up you guys and welcome back to the Wake Dude channel. Today I want to talk to you about how to do super slow motion with your GoPro. The GoPro Hero 5 that I've been using, we're going to look at mainly the super slow motion option which you'll be shooting in 1080 at 120 frames per second. That way you can get the maximum slow motion without distorting your footage too much. Uh, we're gonna show you how to do that, so let's jump into it. Let's go ahead and hop into the GoPro Studio, and I've already decided which clips that I want to make slow-mo. And we're gonna, this is like a long clip, so we're gonna split it up. So all you have to do if you're using a Mac is you just drag that clip right to this import new files. And now it is in there. You click that. And now it'll let you view and trim it. And so then you just scroll through until you find the clips that you want. So I want a little bit of his approach. I'm going to press this for mark in. I'm going to press play. And then I'm going to mark out. And I'm going to add that clip that I just created to the conversion list. And now that's in there. But you can also chop this clip into many more clips. Yeah, we'll do that clip. So go back to a little bit of the approach right there. Pause it, mark out, add to the conversion list. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll keep scrolling, see if there's anything else that, um, that I thought would be good in slow motion. Yeah, there it is. So a little bit of the approach. Let's do mark in, mark out, and let's add that one. We've got three clips in our conversion list. I'm going to highlight all. How I do that is I press shift and I click each one, and then you just press convert. So once those are done, down here and highlighted, it says proceed to step two. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And GoPro gives you templates that you can go ahead and use if you wanna do that. I usually just pick blank. Uh, this one's highlighted. I'm gonna go ahead and drag it down to my timeline. And you don't want the whole thing to be slow motion. So this shot being in 120 anyway, naturally, you can slow it down to about 25%. So if you're creating a timeline that's going to be 24 frames per second, you can slow this down to about 25%. So I'm not going to do that because that'll still create a really long clip, but I am going to scroll through just until he grabs right about there. I'm going to click the clip, make sure that it's selected in the right spot, and I'm going to click the split clip at current position. So now it's going to split it, and then now I'm actually going to continue to scroll until I think that he's got a good poke on it. A little bit past that, and I'm gonna click the split clip again. And then now the rest of the trick, he spins out of it. And then all this stuff at the end, I really don't need, so I'm actually going to split it again and select that one and just click delete. So now, we haven't changed any timing yet. So I'm going to take the first clip and I'm just going to go over here to speed and I'm going to slow it down to about 60%. So let's go to about 60 and I'll do the same thing on this one. So that way beginning and end match. And then this middle one, this is where it's gonna get really slow. So I'm gonna go all the way down to 8%. See how that looks. And it's very important that you have this flux enabled. That'll be super smooth for slow motion clips. But the trick is that you really don't want to do a long time of slow motion. You want a very short time to be slow motion, or super slow motion, I should say, because the longer the time, A, it's going to be long, and B, there's more warping that can happen. Another thing you want to make sure of is that all the stuff that's in the background and some of the foreground as well is very plain. There's not a lot of texture or action going on, so you want to make sure that whatever you're filming You've either got sky or a blank wall or something that isn't going to get warped a lot. Let's take a quick look. And let's do the same thing. This one I'm going to do a little bit different order. This is another option you can do is you can go ahead and do the whole clip at, let's say, 50%. And then that way you don't have to do each one individually, but when I pick where he wants to be slow, so I want it to be slow right when that sun kind of peeks behind his head and he's starting to grab the board, so right there I'm going to say cut 
scroll forward a few frames and we will cut there and now you just select the middle one and I'm going to take that all the way down. Let's let's get crazy. Let's go down to 5%. So from there, all you have to do now is click export. And this is probably one of the most important settings that you can do to make sure to get the most out of it. I think this is normally how it looks. And what you want to do is you want to go to preset and you want to go down to custom. And you want to say apply flux for smoother because we already applied it over here. But now in the actual export settings, apply flux. You also want to select GoPro Cineform. That's going to be the highest quality export. Now it's going to create a huge file. Right now it's already 59 megabits. Now it's 447 megabits. But you can see it already cranked up the quality as high as you can go. Now also to have it look more cinematic is I will export it in 23.98, which is about 24 frames per second. And that should make it even slower, smoother, and actually made the file a little bit smaller. So let's name this slow motion wakeboard and export. It's gonna probably take a little while and then we'll watch it once it's done. All right, so now that this thing is done exporting, let's minimize the GoPro Studio. Now it may be in a weird file format. Open it, if you're on the Mac, it should convert it for you. It might take a few minutes. All right, so now this file is opened. You can view it, so I'm gonna click play and check out how it looks. So anyway, that's how you do super slow motion. I hope you enjoyed this video, and hopefully it's helpful to you as you're creating slow motion videos with your GoPro and any other cameras you might have. Remember those tricks and tips, and you should be good.